my weaknesses. I have a few. Um, I definitely say being way too apologetic sometimes. I know that I shouldn't have to apologise for certain things. I need to be more firm and more direct. If I apologise, even if it's in an email, that automatically prescribes it with doubt and prescribes my performance with doubt. And that's something that I don't want to be attached with anymore. Yeah, this is a hard question, but I think it's a very common one. And employers generally ask it to really try to suss out how well you know yourself and your capabilities. And one of the top attributes employers look for these days is emotional intelligence. And I can't really think of a better question to assess um, how self-aware and emotionally intelligent you are than this question. Everybody has a weakness and the interviewer does not expect you to be perfect. However, the interviewer does expect you to be original. So I think for me, um, saying you're a perfectionist is probably a very common answer and you'd probably want to do something a little bit more outside the box. I don't think that people are that interested in your weaknesses. It's more about how you are addressing them if you're self-aware of them. Don't say that you're perfectionist. Don't, don't share a weakness that is not really a weakness. Uh, be genuine uh, and, and give some examples, actual examples of, you know, in the past when you noticed that and what you have been doing since to address it. Um, I, in new environments, I'm quite timid and a lot of people see that as I'm not interested, whereas I'm actually just taking time to adjust, um, gather information about my surroundings and then I'll jump straight into it. So I know how difficult the question is and I absolutely loved Lucy's response in um, you know, her weakness in being timid and Cheyenne's response in being overly apologetic. I thought it was very natural, it was genuine and they knew the implication of having that weakness and why they needed to improve it. So it is a bit difficult. Um, what I would encourage a lot of candidates to do is focus on the 80-20 rule. And what I mean by that is 20% of your response should be identifying what your weakness is, demonstrating that you have some self-reflection, some self-knowledge, but then 80% of your response should ideally focus on what you've done to overcome that weakness, um, and even better yet, provide an example of what you've done um, in the past. 